boy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we're just gonna go out and have fun. We're just bringing the camera along. Uh, we got some errands we gotta run today, but first we're gonna go shoot some skeet. Jillian's body. We're either gonna be really good <laughs> or horrible. So uh, I've never been to an actual place to shoot trap, and uh, that's what we're gonna do today. We got the truck and the uh, defender loaded up. Let me hop in the truck and get the AC on. Oh boy. Now this place we're actually going to is about 30 minutes from the house. I've had some buddies go out here and they always said it's a super great time. So uh, I figured today, let's just roll out there, have a good day, shoot some ski. And then afterwards, I gotta run to the sheriff's office, pick up my concealed carry license, and uh, we're going gun shopping. So I'll pick you guys up when we get to the gun range. <laughs> oh, well boys, we have made it. We just checked out of the pro shop. We got the Defender unloaded. Julius is grabbing guns, throwing them from the truck into the Defender. It's gonna be a good day. This is gonna be really fun. So what it sounds like is basically it's about 50 cent a ski, which ain't bad, but we plan on shooting a lot. So uh, it might get pricey. We're gonna go ahead and get packed up. In the meantime, check out the montage. Well, boys, we have made it to our first station. So it looks like you stand right here. You put your card in there and then you hit the button. I guess you can hit the pair. So both thrown at the same time or one at a time. You got the shells, Julius? Well, we got our little card. Got our little card you right stick here. stick it right there. Oh, it oh, beeped. Wow. We ain't never done this before, but uh, let's show you guys what we're shooting. Now, I'm actually gonna be shooting my Super Black Eagle 3 and 12 gauge. This thing was shooting super high. Reshimmed it. I also went in here and backed off that barrel nut on the magazine tube. And now it's shooting I don't know, 20% on the bottom and 80% on the top, which ain't great, but it ain't terrible. Julius will be shooting my old Frankie. Julius has decided he wants to shoot this all season, so uh, this should be interesting. Uh, we're both running full chokes. My choke's a little bit tighter than Julius's, and that's really not what we should be running for this range, but if you can hit it with a full choke, you can hit it with anything else. So let's see how this goes. High A or bear? High A. Let's see what happens. Oh, there it is. Oh, dude, that thing freaking disappeared. All right, low B. There it is. Oh, ah, there it is. Hell yeah. You want, yeah? You want to shoot? Here, yeah, let me shoot. Yeah, we know what they're doing. They're coming at us. All right, I'm ready. Full. Smoked. Smoked. There you go. Get out of here, you baby. Ready? ready? I'm going to send you a pair. Whoa, I got to get another shell on my gun. <laughs> this is cool. I yeah, like this, this so is, far. This is interesting. It's different than just throwing skeet. You know where yeah. it's coming from. I like this is, I'm pretty sure she said this is the easy side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it says woods course. So this is the easy yeah, side. Easy side. The woods course and the, the field course is the hard course. All right. All right, get the pair. You get both missed of them? I that one. It took three shots, but I smoked both of them. There Hell you yeah. go. Let's, let's run you a pair. I missed that high up one. Yeah. I, I didn't realize how high it was going to be. All right. You want them uh, at pair. the same time? Pair, yeah. All right. Let's send it. <laughs> Hell yeah. As much as I'd like to keep shooting, I'd like to not have rack up too big of a bill. So we'll probably just go ahead and move on to the next one. What just happened, Julius? Well, apparently when you're shooting skeet, you're only supposed to use three shots. Yeah. He used like five. The guy said he heard like five shots rattle off from the back of the place and he had to come up here and tell us not to do that. Lesson learned. We're just duck hunters and goose hunters. We don't know a damn about this. All right, next station, which is right there. Literally, golf cart rentals were free today. Did not know that. So uh, we got the Defender. Station three. Check this thing out. Got the card? Nah, close down there. <laughs> of course. We're gonna have to remember that. Yeah. Got the card now? Card acquired. I only see one thrower. Who knows where the other one's coming from? I'll see another sign. All right, you ready for A? Yeah. Oh, it's a rabbit. You hit it. All right, you ready for B? I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, right there. In the air. There it is. That rabbit's pretty cool. I ain't never shot at one of those before. Yeah, you want to do both? Yeah. All right, you ready? For, this is a cool pair. All right, you ready? Pull. Oh, this one does look challenging because you got you're coming from such different angles. That rabbit's different. Where that was A. Yeah, the rabbit's A. All right, rabbit me. Pull. It's so close. Problem is, we got these full chokes. If we're hitting that, we're dusting it. It's gonna evaporate. He won't eat a rabbit at that range. No. Okay. All right, you want to pull both? You ready? 
Yep. Get it. Over. I keep shooting over that one. Well, let's just move on to the next. This will get real expensive if we keep shooting. The hard part is, is like you want to sit here and get good yeah. at one. You're constantly switching up. If we had endless money, we could come out here all, right. all day. Ten. I got the card this time. Let's move 10 feet to the next one. Station four. All right, you get first shot. All right, then. This one looks like you're going to have one coming right at us all and right. one going away. I'm going to throw the one coming at us first. Say when. Oh. Oh, I might want to put the card in there. <laughs> this is a lot to remember. All right, we'll process. She's ready? Oh. There you go. All right, you ready for B? Yeah, I'm ready for B. Pull. Oh, that was close. Smoked that one, though. That was too close. Yeah. I don't know how I hit it. All right, Julius, your turn. Yep. Here we go. There you go. You ready for B? Oh. Ready for the pair? Yeah. Pull. Pull. Did you hit them both? They disintegrated. Hell bro. yeah. Even at that range. Yeah. Hey, if you hit it. What the? F <laughs> <laughs> if you hit it, just gone. These, yeah. These chokes are so They're so tight. tight. My choke at like 12 yards is pumping a hole like that through a cardboard. Yeah, we're literally shooting slugs at 12 <laughs> yards. I'm ready for the woods course already. These are so close. But the, I only have an open choke for this Benelli other than my fool. So uh, I'm not going to an open. That'd be too easy. We've already almost gone through two boxes at already three stations. Holy cow. Let's we could spend all day here. Yeah, right. Let's keep going, baby. All right, Julius, you shooting first this one? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Hell yeah. So it looks like we have one coming at us and one going away. This should be interesting. All right, I'm going to throw the back one at us first. You ready? All right, send it. There you go. All right, I'm throwing the one right here. Wow, that, that was a high fast flyer. Fast. Holy cow. I got two more. I'm gonna do the pair. Ready? Yep. <laughs> that was kind of tricky. That one was kind of tricky. That's tricky. Here, I'm gonna shoot it. Where's the shells at? Need a new box. Already? Yeah, right. Here you go. Thank you, good sir. That browning, 12 that, gauge. That crappy brown that's gonna freaking not feed. This browning ain't worth a crap. Right, I'm gonna hit A. Good shot. B. Dusted. That thing starts hot. Do the pair, baby. There you there go. All right, I'm done. I'm oh, over. Good. I quit. On to the next one. Let me grab this card. <laughs> Getting it every time. I don't know where the hell A is going, so yeah. let's hit it. All right, A. Good shot. B. Oh, yeah. That should have died. All right, pair time. Oh, that browning! Browning! Oh, browning. <laughs> that was dead. It was so perfect. You smashed the first one, too. All right, boys, we just made it out here to the field range. Field course is supposed to be hard. We're still on the woods course, but it's in the field. So hopefully these will be a little bit further out. Julius, you shooting first or am I shooting first? I'll shoot first. Let's see what happens. Let me get this raggedy Benelli out of here. Yeah? I'd rather buy browning. All right, I'm shooting high A. Uh, it looked like shot over it. B is probably going to be up in the sky. Hell yeah! Oh my gosh! You couldn't even see that thing. This uh, definitely shoot A first, then the B. All right, hit the pair. Ah, Julius! <laughs> All right, Braden, let's see what you got. This is kind of difficult. That low bird's hard yeah. to shoot. So far, I highly recommend coming out and shooting ski like this. It's yeah. as cheap as going go-karting. Hi, A. Notice how all the broken skeeter right there and not in the middle, because people don't fucking hit this target. You, you, you got it. Have you hit that one? No, I want to try it. Hey, Brady, what's going on, man? Why are you gonna burn through a box of shells trying to hit this one? It's invincible. <laughs> what the f is going on? I gotta lead it more. Julius! Let me shoot at it. Shoot at it! Shoot that thing! It can't be that hard. Alright, then. Alright, 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 <laughs> alright, then. Got him! Alright, then. Brain's pressed after that one. Box shells! I gotta lead there it a go. lot more. You touched it, you touched it. I destroyed it! Look, I hit it again. Yeah. You there gotta you go. lead. It's not moving that fast though. It doesn't look like it, but I it think it is. It does not look like it's moving that fast. All right, shoot the pair now. Got a lot of shells at this station right here, pal. There you go. There we go. There's the pair. Oh my! Oh, I'm so mad. That was but hard. I figured it out. 
But I figured it out. I was leading, because it didn't look like it was moving that fast, so I was leading it a foot, foot and a half. But I didn't bleed out two and a half, three feet. That extra foot means a lot when you're shooting a tight pattern, because it ain't that far neither. What the hell? I didn't want to shoot again, because I know I got lucky on that first shot. All right. <laughs> Next. Next. Well, boys, we had just finished up the woods course. It was a fun course. It was actually a lot of fun, but for the full chokes, not the ticket. But now we're out here on the field course, which they were saying in the pro shop was the hardest. So I'm kind of curious. A is all the way down there. That's that's a long way and it's facing out. Look at it. There's B. All right, you up first, Julius? I'm Braden. I'm, I'm, I'm just... <laughs> you ready for B, the one down there? God. All right, you ready for A? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you film oh, me. I gotta shoot. I gotta shoot. No way. <laughs> That's freaking crazy. That's insane. I hope you get out of here. All right, B. Bro, we ain't gonna be able to hit the first hard course. Nothing. I guess I'll try the other one. Oh, f oh you I hit it that time. All right, hit A. Hit pair. F it. Ain't no way, pal. Last try, and we can move on. B. Yeah, you hit it. All right, we're done. How we, much? We're we're done here. God, let's go. Please. Four true pairs. We don't know what that means. Just hit the button. But I believe them. Here's A. Wait till it gets yeah, right there. Let's check out B. Holy. That's close. Holy cow. Want a pair? Yeah, I gotta hit one. It's bad of me say you guys gotta hit one. <laughs> Alright, let me A. I just wanna hit A. Okay. There you go. You gotta lead it like a mile. Alright, last pair. I, I forgot you got to shoot B first. <laughs> I'm going to shoot B first and shoot A, so go ahead and hit them both. Good shot. Oh. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Pair oh. out. Good shot. There we go. Damn. Now I'm mad. Shoot again. Damn it. I got to. All right, all right, all right. But look, if we're doing it this way, because I hit them now, you got to hit them. We'll give you two more tries. Two more dollars. You thought the arcade was expensive. Pair. Yep. There you go. Oh! oh <laughs> God. Load her up. We got to do this one more time. All right, pair. Oh! All right, you got to go one more time. One more time. Dude, this is hard. It is hard. Pull. There you go. There you go. Yeah! Woo! Let's go, baby. All right, let's get out of oh, here. Let's, let's get the hell out of here. Get the card. Man. That damn card. We have left it so many times. God, dude. I'd love to come out here all the time and see how good I could actually get. Because apparently we need to practice. We didn't think so before. Asked. All right, B. What the f***? <laughs> get to hit the tree. You got to shoot it before the tree? Hold on, I'm going to hit it again. Dude, you got to hit it before you hit the tree. Pair, coming in hot. Oh my gosh, you hit the back one. Oh, yeah, Were I'm... you not even shooting at no, it? No, I was. Okay. My turn, I guess. I guess pair. We got one shell left. Send me A. A. That's moving so fast. Go. Let's move. Yep. Good idea, Brayden. We're gonna be out of shotgun shells. We're gonna have to go buy more. Brayden, no, of course, is uh, whooping us. Me and Brayden about to spend our life's money on Holy this. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Hopefully, these are uh, a little bit closer. I like them fast, but I don't like them that far out and that fast. These are gonna be straight up. Yeah. That A is literally gonna throw them. Boom. All right, Julius. See what you got, bub. Bro, that bird is gonna be 30 foot in the air. We'll hit A. Oh, you hit it. B. Oh, shit, rabbit. There you go. Done. Hell done, yeah. Done. 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 <laughs> done. That rabbit was jumping. Yeah, I don't know how I hit it. I got lucky as hell. All right, now I guess send me A. A coming in hot. Send me the pair. I don't know what you're going to shoot first. Got it. Ah! One more time. You got lucky on that No, rabbit. I'm not shooting one more time. Uh -uh. All right, boys, we made it to the last station. We skipped a bunch in the field course because we've already shot more skeet than we're supposed to. What you want? B? Oh, rabbit. Nice. A? Yep. Yep, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's a fun one. You want to do both at once? Yeah, I guess. All right, pair. That's so fast. So fast. All right, I'm going to give you a single, single pair. Single, single pair. B first. All right. A rabbit boy. Second shot, got him. All right, I'm going to give you A now. A? It's hard to find. Pair me. Pull. 
Hard to find, ain't they? Yeah. Last two shots? Last two shells. All right, let's end it off with a bang. Pull. Yeah, baby. There we go. Whew, I can sleep tonight. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna have nightmares about this place. You have nightmares about it? Yeah. Let's grab the stupid card we keep forgetting. We have racked up 293. 293, 50 cent a shot, however many dollars that is. Well, we're gonna go up to the pro shop and uh, once we get loaded up, I'll let you guys know how much we racked up. We shot 293 skeet. So let's go figure well, this out. We didn't shoot 293, <laughs> we shot at 293. <laughs> All right, boys, so we paid. It was like, what, 70 bucks a person? Not yeah, bad, not bad. We shot a lot of skeet missed a lot of skeet but yeah hi it's gun range absolutely loved it had a great time we'll probably be going back sometime soon we'll shoot some freaking skeet then but uh we actually already went to the sheriff's office picked up my concealed carry so now i can go in here and pick up some of these pistols i bought i'm gonna go into anton's pick them up and i'm gonna pick you guys up at the range so we can shoot these bad things and i'll show you what i got a lot has happened in the last 20 hours since I picked up the camera. Let me just show you the first thing. Jealous! What up, guys? Buddy, what's going on with your hand, dog? Oh, I just got bored. I figured I'd wrap it up for a little while. <laughs> Jealous broke his hand. How is it, bud? How is it? It's, it's broke, bro. You're supposed to have surgery this morning, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pinky is completely out and dislocated. Yep. This bone is snapped on an angle. Yeah. And this bone is snapped on an angle, and they're all shifted yep. over. Yep. How'd you do it? I got, uh, frustrated. <laughs> Julius doesn't believe in stud finders. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Jill is supposed to go get surgery this morning, but uh, that kind of got pushed back till this coming up Monday. So uh, we got some guns. I got my deer rifle I need to side in and a new gun you guys have yet to see that we just picked up from Anton's. So I am stoked. But uh, we got the four-wheeler on the back. We got to do some food plots, baby. I'll just pick you guys up when we get down there. Oh, man. Well, I'd say this is the first food plot we're spraying, but I've actually already sprayed one. So we actually got dad's old four-wheeler out here with the cedar on it and the sprayer. We're down here on the power line. We got to do this field and then that field over there. Now, how I'm actually planting these fields is spray them with a Roundup, come back a couple days after, after the Roundup's done its thing, seed it, and then bush hog it. Now, I got a bunch of different seed this year. Still waiting on a bunch of seed to actually come in the mail, but uh, this is step one of getting the fields ready. It's funny, like you guys see behind the scenes, you guys see us come out here and shoot deer in these beautiful food plots, but you never see any of the actual hard work. I mean, it is, with all my hobbies that we do, all the things that you see, it is every day constantly doing something to maintain it and make it good. But let me hop in here just ignore that thing and that thing right there let's grab uh, a tripod throw you guys up on tripod and we're gonna spray this field real quick how you doing Jillis? i'm working on it you it's working on it it's hard getting out of a door <laughs> Oh, well boys, we just finished up. We got this one done. We gotta go refill the tank and then we gotta do that plot over there. Big stand's probably gonna be killer this year. Boys, we are back down here at the deer club now. You're probably wondering, Brayden, you're supposed to go shoot guns. Well, the microphone went out on that day and uh, we had a ball. I showed you guys the guns we we're shooting. And I'm gonna come out here and reshoot them today because I got some new ammos and some new stuff I wanna try out. But we're down here at the shooting range. As you guys remember, we built this shooting range out here and it is looking great. We have shot on it a few times. Here's all the shots from uh, last time we were shooting. Oh, that crow's gonna get it. Ooh, these lucky bullets always come down when you shoot them up. I got a few guns I wanna show you, but first, I need to go ahead and set some targets up. Dude. Shut up! But we're gonna go ahead and put all fresh targets on there so we can shoot some guns, baby. Let's go ahead and switch them over. If I could take you up in Shoot. Now I'm down here 100 yards away from the targets. Now we actually got my Christensen's Arms Titanium 6.5, baby. What a sexy beast. I don't know how well you guys can see it because of the sign, but uh, this is such a beautiful rifle. I got a Leopold on there. I actually got a custom dial made for this ammunition right here, this Precision Hunter. Now this dial, if you guys can see it, it locks in on your zero and then you can turn it up to 300 yards, 400, 500, 600. And then you, when you turn, turn it all the way back, that turret just locks right back into place. Super sick, super sweet. But I found that that this ammo does not shoot that great. It groups great at 100, then you put it at 200, it starts opening up a bit. And it's not the shooting because I shot some other ammo and it shot wonderfully. But that ammo is no longer available and is out of stock everywhere. So I'm back here again, I cleaned the gun, shoot this one more time, give it one more go. Now that the gun's had plenty of rounds through it and it was definitely broken in. And while I was on the way here, I stopped and I picked up some Hornady match ammo and some uh, Nosler. So we'll see how this stuff shoots. I just gotta find a good bullet. I'm gonna shoot all these at 100, see how they shoot compare them 
small and then shoot my favorite at 200 and make sure it's still dialed in. Now this process is gonna take a while for me because I wanna make sure everything's perfect. I wanna let the barrel cool down so it's not getting hotter and hotter and hotter as I'm shooting and opening up those groups. And then I'll show you guys the rest of the guns and that'll be just a minute for you guys. But there's a little sneak peek, baby. Let's shoot all three of these bullets at 100 yards and see what we do. Oh, I'm gonna shoot the Precision Hunter first. I'm gonna send one down range. I just cleaned this barrel. So uh, I wanna go ahead and shoot one round through it before I start shooting for accuracy. So let's just pop a steel plate. That hurt my freaking ears. Let's shoot one more. All right, we're gonna let this gun cool down and we're gonna send three more. Fire no. That is an awful, awful group. Awful. I'm talking about a two inch group at 100 yards. That ain't worth a fuck. I'll let this gun cool down. I guess we'll shoot the Nosler next. This looks like a full metal jacket. Reduced drag factor. I don't think I'm gonna be a fan of these. I'll shoot that match instead. All right, time for the match. That's a good group. One flyer. Shoot the nozzler. Gun's probably gonna be a little warm. I don't even think I'm gonna use this nozzler. Looks like a full metal jacket. That shit doesn't even wanna run. Try a different round. Oh, I can go ahead and tell you that ain't worth it. Yeah, that doesn't even want to run. Nozzler's a no-go. Nozzler ain't worth a crap. It does not even want to feed in this gun. And then the precision was just terrible. I mean, huge open group. This match wasn't too bad. Go ahead and shoot another group with this. I mean, this thing, ever since I got it, I can't run a good group with it, which is weird. Let's run it again. I'm still not happy with that. I think I messed up by not breaking this barrel in. Get a new gun, you wanna go shoot it. You know, you don't think about, oh, you need to shoot two, three shot groups, clean it, run a patch 40 times, rinse and repeat for 50 shots. That's stupid. Buy a $2,500 gun, apparently I messed up. So I've not found an ammo that shoots how I want to out of it. You know, ammo, you know, shoot an inch at 100, but man, it should be better than that. Ain't what I want at 100 yards. And like, I've shot a lot of different stuff already and it's just not it. So there's the Hunter Precision. Awful, absolutely awful awful imagine that at 200 yards it's gonna open up like that there's that match ammo you know i don't want to settle for that you know if this one was you know tucked in somewhere over here yeah that was that nozzler this after the second shot it wasn't wanting to feed in the gun and that is after i seen that i was like that's out of the picture and then this is back to that match again i mean you're talking an inch and a half because the first day i didn't have a lead sled so i didn't even shoot i was like you know what let me go home get a lead sled make sure everything's dialed i mean that was with the barrel cooled down and everything not happy with this gun not at all and you're grouping like that at 100 how are you supposed to shoot 600 how are you supposed to shoot a thousand that's pathetic. I probably ran about 50 rounds through the gun doing none of the break-in period and I just cleaned it because I heard about the break-in period and that you're supposed to break it in. So I looked it up. I just cleaned the barrel and hell it almost shot better dirty. I'm gonna shoot some more and just see what happens. That's ridiculous. <laughs> this ain't really worth a f Not a f Not a f Not a singular f Not a f Now this match doesn't even want to load into this gun. Did I get a lemon? It won't even run. Look, it won't even, it won't even close the bolt. All right, that was a good group. I give it, yeah, that was a good group. I can live with that one right there. Shoot like it should now. All right, so I don't know what changed. My shooting is the same, but it just laid down two good groups with that match 140 grain. Good enough I can live with. Still got to take it back to 200 yards and see what it does back there, but I can live with the groups it just put down. Maybe the barrel just needed to get shot a few more times after that cleaning to be a dialed. I don't know. But it shot like you would expect. 100 yards. Here we go. That's that's what I was looking for. Now all three are touching. All three are basically touching. I actually shot another group with that precision hunter. That was one. That was one. I think that was the other. So it's staying those big groups that group i was not i was definitely not happy with wasn't happy with that group and i wasn't really happy with that group but these groups they came out just fine i'm gonna shoot one more group with that match and if it shoots good just like it just did i'll stick with the match ammo and we can move forward and uh show you guys the other toy
All right, boys, we're back up here at the clubhouse. I wanted to come up here in the shade to talk to you guys for a second. We finally did get this badass gun dialed in. Look how sexy she looks. We had our struggles in the beginning. I was super pissed off, but finally. Hornady D match actually was shooting pretty good. I shot a lot of groups and uh, it started to shoot really good. It actually started to shoot like that right there, believe it or not. Quickly ran out of the one box I had, but basically had it all sided in, ready to roll. So I ran to town, got some more of it, bought actually 120, no, bought 140 rounds of it, shot it at 200, and we are money dude but the next gun i want to show you guys which we're about to go shoot is this bad boy right here now i actually went and picked this thing up in the vid in this video but i think the footage got lost but check it out so this is a christians in arms pistol it's a 300 blackout let me show you these little bullets right here 300 blackout was actually designed to be a su suppressed round so it's a fat little bullet with not a whole lot of powder so it's running you know right there on that subsonic sonic range and there is a ton of subsonic rounds for it so i actually when i seen this pistol I was like, holy cow, that'd be such a good suppressor host. And I already had suppressors on the way. Now it being bold action, you don't hear none of the action. It is strictly the gun going off. And 300 blackout when it's subsonic. Through a bold action, it is probably about as quiet as a loud pellet gun. Definitely a quieter, way quieter than a 22. Just think about it. You're shooting that bullet, that that big old bullet right there. And it's running a thousand foot a second. And it's like a pellet gun going off. So, so crazy. Now this bipod actually folds out. And you also have a stock over here that swings wings out so now you got a badass little rig bro literally dunk 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 and you're ready to rock and roll slap the suppressor on there and you got one quiet little suppressor host there's a super badass little rig and uh hopefully we can kill some deer with it this season you know with like a hundred yard deer gun that's the ticket right there super sick super lightweight just carry it up in your ladder stand and you're ready to rock and roll but uh enough talking about it let's go shoot it all right, boys, we got the uh, deer rifle sided in. Now it's time to show you guys this bad boy. Yes, I actually picked up this Christian's Arms. Dude, when I suppress this thing, I got like 30 days left on the suppressors, like I said. This is gonna be wild. Now, originally when we first came out and shot it, I had a red dot on it, and uh, I went and bought this Leupold scope for it. It is a uh, three by 15. Now with this short barrel, this thing ain't gonna be accurate at long range, but to squeeze all the accuracy we could out of it, we got the scope. Let's load this thing up real quick. Got these stubby short little three blackout rounds man such a cool round let's load this mag up so we can uh, shoot it this mag can be a pain to load now let's shoot this thing we're about 50 yards away from the target yeah the sun is really bad when we set this range up the sun was definitely not in our favor well, let's shoot it Dude, the concussion off of that. Holy cow, that little muzzle break. Now, obviously that's gonna get taken away when we get the suppressor on it, but that is freaking ridiculous. I mean, it feels like I'm shooting a 50. Holy crap, dude. This is a badass little rig though, dude. Christian's arm really killed it with this. Now this thing suppressed will probably be as quiet as a loud pellet gun with subsonic, of course. But look at it, it folds up all nice and tight. I mean, you can about stick that in a backpack and then you just slap on your suppressor, flick the bipod down. Holy cow, dude, this thing is dope. Now I'm not gonna lie. I have shot this thing quite a bit since I bought it when we originally started filming this video. But you know, our, the mic, like I said, it messed up and we lost all the footage. So I want to come back here and shoot it again for you guys. I really did forget how much pressure this muzzle brake freaking lets out of this gun, man. It is insane. Like, honestly, it'll probably give you a headache if you're not careful. But that'll go away with the suppressor. But I did take that gun out the other day, and I was shooting 600 yards on, like, a range where you pay to go shoot. I know, Brandon going to a real range. It was pretty cool, okay? But 600 yards, man. Was I hitting it? Yeah. Was I aiming 50 foot above it and not very accurate? Yeah. Plus, it was like a 40-inch plate. So, yeah. Yeah. But such a cool gun. Now I'm gonna do a full video on this gun whenever my suppressor comes in because it'll probably be one of the quietest guns that you can configure without making it like super long with a stupid heavy barrel and just some fat freaking suppressor. This thing will be like a miniature just freaking it's a little assassin gun is what it is. Let's go ahead and shoot it again. Over here in the shade this time. All right, thankfully the sun kind of went behind some trees. Now I got some shade, but uh, let's load one up. Shoot this bad boy. I know. <laughs> Oil it. It's kind of hard to run that bolt pretty quick. That, that was it. <laughs> yeah, she needs some oil on her. It's pretty tight. But uh, that thing is so, so sick. Oh, that thing is bone dry. Oh, yeah. 
There we go. There wasn't nothing on that thing. Oh yeah, much better now. Such a dope gun. I actually adjusted this trigger down as about four, maybe five pounds when I first got it. I adjusted it down to about two and a half. Let's just, all right, gun's clear. You can see that. Nothing's in the tube. Just look at this trigger. Just look at it. Oh, how about I took it off safety? All right, you see that? Oh my gosh. Again, look at this trigger. There's no take up. See, can y'all see that right there? So crispy. And to shoot accurately, that's very good. Now, I shot this thing out at 200 yards. I could hit an 8-inch plate every time, but it's an 8-inch plate. It was on every corner of the 8-inch plate. But I want to say that's a, uh, oh gosh, because that's a muzzle break. It's probably a 7-inch barrel. 8-inch barrel, maybe? I'm not sure. But one thing I really like about this gun is even if it's all folded up, let's say you had a red dot on here, you can still run that bolt and shoot it. I was pretty close. All right, I'm going to hit that. I can see just a little bit through the scope. Just enough to shoot it. Let's shoot it again. That is crazy. Oh, we got one more. <laughs> oh, there's two more. Three more. Nah, of course I missed the last shot. But uh, I just absolutely love this gun. But when I first seen this thing, I just had to have it, man. It was so cool, so sick. And uh, yeah, now I got it. So hopefully we'll kill some deer with it this year. Probably a really good, like, close range, inside a 100-yard gun. So I'm looking forward to using it. Guys, this video wasn't really supposed to be a video. It kind of just got thrown together as one. But if you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button, like, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think of this little thing. I think it's such a sick rig. So happy I got that gun worked out, that deer rifle. I'm going to go bulk up on that ammo real quick and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Yeah.